Hey, what's up guys? Gavin Peacock, Flip Society. I'm in the process of taking all this and throwing it into my garage for the winter, so it's not gonna be here anymore. All right guys, here we are standing in the garage. It's almost empty, I'm just gonna time lapse me quickly getting the rest of the crap out. That'd be step one, clear your garage. And yeah, just have a few leveling corners we gotta level off before we throw subfloor in, before we throw the gym floor in. Those will be the steps, that's what I'm going through. Time lapse will take care of the rest. Here we go. Subfloor laid down. Garage door ripped off. Might make it two swinging barn doors. To be continued. Hey guys, quick check in. A little update. We got all the insulation and wrap on the walls. Plywood still to come. We're not going to be doing drywall. It's just a waste of time for a garage. I got my sanded top deck plywood sheets down there for lifting. I'm going to have two lengths of 16 feet with a rack in the back. And I have enough rubber standing on some here. Enough rubber to cover the square footage of everything around the outside. So we'll have 16 foot of lifting space, um, rubber down the sides, and then another eight foot or so buffer of mats to do any other work on uh, ahead of the rig. And then up here was the latest thing I've done. I put in this massive 12 foot long two by 10. There's actually two of them. You can see running right down the center. And this is acting as just the main support beam now because I cut out all the old ones for the garage. Uh, to make room for the rig and I put this in here with a big 10 inch surface so we can screw and bolt uh, the bouldering rock climbing grips on it so you can work your grip strength all the way back and forth. The gap in the middle will allow me to hang chain to hard balls and different things so you'll see that coming up. But that's what we got so far. I'll time lapse the fitting of these mats and the fixing down of that plywood. Okay, we're out. What's going on guys? So we're about three weeks ahead. Gym is pretty much done. I just wanted to jump ahead, skip all the transformation, time lapse stuff, and show you a final tour of videos. So, turning around first, uh, I just want to show you these barn doors we built. So, these are huge barn doors instead of the old garage door. These will stay open in the summer and obviously be sealed shut and insulated. They are insulated for the uh, winter. And coming into the garage, still a garage, so we made sure to keep a uh, workbench over here just to do our tinkering on if we need to. You can see now the gym space takes up about 80% of the length of the garage. Uh, we got our lifting platform in the middle. I stained it blue just to make it a little custom and have some color in here. Uh, rubber mats off the side. The rower typically stands upright. This is the beam I put in for mainly structural support, but I figured I might as well hang a bunch of stuff off of it. So I have portable rings that are on clips up to bolts on the inside. Got various climbing grips here to work through. Um, and again, all rock climbing base grip strength. Um, grips here on chains, they're all clippable. So I can put whatever I want on there. If you guys saw my uh, recent Obstacle Course World Championship video, humbling experience to have insane grip strength that lasts. Everybody at that race forearms were shot. So we got these puppies now. Uh, we'll have some steel forearms all winter long in here training. Moving on through here, I did the DIY um, fence piping and scrap wood kettlebell rack and dumbbell rack. I just made that up out of my head and it works really well. Maybe I'll do a video on how I built those if you guys want those ideas. Weight vest underneath, got the foam rolling, lacrosse ball dowel shelving. Here's all your mobility and pre-prep work for a workout. Dip bar goes on the uprights. We got trap bar and log press in the back. On the back wall, you can see me. I got a nine by nine square mirror. There are three panels, but it really aids to the size of the garage. Doubled it all up. Uh, the uprights here, I had them yellow, painted in black for more attitude inside. Adjustable rack. All the plates fit nicely below um, whatever you're going to be doing over there. You can't do bench press on that side, but with two uprights, it gives you minus the mirror side, one, two, and three workable um, sides to set up whatever you'd like. Barbells are all standing up vertically in the back right now. And then with five hooks, you got all my accessories hanging on the wall nicely now. Belts, power bands, 
mobility bands, distraction bands, bungee, skipping rope, TRX, and the ring. And one, two, three, four, five speakers behind me. as a nice surround sound system. With all the winter insulation I put in, you can't hear a thing outside, so that'll be nice. And then I have six fluorescent tubing uh, ballasts up top that give plenty of light to the garage when it's dark and when the doors are shut. We slapped in the side door for it's gonna be a winter entrance. I got a few fans laying around, an accessories box with my punching bag. I forgot to add that right here on this mount is gonna be, it's a TRX mount, but it also will hang a heavy bag dead center in the garage for um, any conditioning work that I feel like doing. So kind of a one-stop shop gets it all done. Up top, we put back in an attic space to hold anything that was left over from the garage, um, just for some storage. So. It all works. I hope you guys get some good ideas from it. I was doing the process anyway, so I figured I'd make a video. So here it is. Gonna end this video quick. Gavin Peacock, my garage gym in Canada, getting ready for the winter. Hope you guys like it. Out. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Take care.